Hi everyone, it's the English Dinner here and welcome back to The Youngins Season 2. As you can see, Madison is over here in the background. Kai actually um, got her over to fix some stuff up in the apartment, but because he's not on the best of terms with either Madison nor Nathan right now, we're gonna have him go out and try and like clear his head with a jog but we're actually gonna get out of the city um and we're gonna take him off it's like only half four in the morning but we're gonna take him out and hopefully you know what we might not take him out of the city we might just take him to the central park and have him go for a run with nina i don't know if they can like jog together um but we're gonna try it we're gonna see if we can at least like jog just with him but invite Nina with us because I feel like Nina is a very level-headed person you know she's got years of experience under her belt and you know sometimes things got tough with the girls the, t the girls never really had like a full-on argument during season one of this let's play the girls actually got on really well together for like majority of the time whereas I feel like with the boys um there's definitely more of a friction but I feel like that is because they are are all, well those two are so alike um they kind of do have a little bit of friction uh can we jog together i don't think we can it would be cool if they could uh if they could jog together but we'll go jogging um hopefully we can have a jog around the park whoever did this graffiti this is awesome i've never seen this graffiti before but that is so cool I actually want Kai to redo the one that we have in our house. Here we go. He's taking his shirt off. He's jogging through the streets without any trainers on, which probably isn't the best idea in the world. I mean, you're a crazy boy. And we owe 450 simoleons. A lot of you in the last part were like, you know what? I feel like Kai's getting a bit tense. He's constantly like either in the apartment or not doing anything and I agree with that I think he should get a job but I wanted to leave the choice up to you guys first so what I can either do is have him go into like bartending or something not so serious um or I could download either the fashion mod and have him become a model. I kind of do want to do that. I was looking at the fashion mod and I was like, ooh, is this like up to date? Is it going to ruin my game or not? Hopefully it is up to date and I will be able to download it because I just feel like the fashion mod, like having Kai as a male model would definitely suit one his lifestyle he is quite creative but he is also i'm not saying like models are lazy um but you know he's a young man he's living in the big city and it just feels kind of like a stereotype that kai would live up to in some way i mean also look at his face he's gorgeous so i can't like um disregard him becoming a male model so we might have him do that like head to the gym work out a bit and then try and get him in the fashion career if the mod is still working if you guys do have that mod in your game then let me know because i am intrigued by it for sure or i could just download the mod which allows sims oh he's feeling uncomfortable excruciatingly fatigued because he's a lazy sim lazy sims hate activity even picking up the remote results and over exertion dude you are such a lazy so-and-so oh look there's another frog over there let's go get another frog um or i could download the mod like i was saying which actually um i think it contains like do you know the what's it called the ba 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 the part-time jobs that teenagers have like the either like a barista or a fast food worker or a babysitter I think someone has modded those to be like adult jobs as well so I could download that mod and have him in a part-time career but I do like quite fancy Kai as a little male model. I feel like that would be quite fun. Uh, we're gonna spend the first half of the day with Kai. Like I said, we might actually take him to the gym and uh, although he is feeling uncomfortable, I do kind of want him, if he is gonna become a male model, I feel like we should get working out a little bit more, you know, work on our muscles and stuff. And there's not meh much, meh, 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 much to do that over here. Um, so I think we're gonna head to a uh, 
gym and kind of work out a little bit. It's still 7 a.m. It's bright and early in The Sims. Um, is there a good gym or did I get rid? I can't remember. No, there is a gym. We could go to Sky Fitness. You know what? We're going to. We're going to stay around the city. Um... We'll take Nina along as well. We didn't really hang out with Nina. Feel quite bad for inviting her because we just went for a jog to clear our head. It would be quite cool if your like Sims could go on little like jogging groups together. Just like, hey buddy, how you doing? Uh, to like clear their minds and stuff. Because I know teenagers can now go for a jog to clear their mind when they're having like a mood swing or if they're tense or something like that. Um, so it would be quite cute to have like uh jogging groups i feel like that was that should have been something that was who are you you are fit caleb estes he's the gym trainer Ooh, he is a good looking man bright kai we are gonna do some heavy lifting you know i'm hoping you aren't gonna die from like overexertion. i'm really hoping that's not gonna be the case i mean look you got nina here look at her freaking muscles she's ripped to heck it's insane how muscular she is i mean good on her good on the girl it's just because she did a lot of yoga in her time oh look who else is here hazel this was jared's ex-girlfriend for those of you who didn't know she was a well she is a doctor obviously jared is back with chloe now uh, did i have him and chloe try for a baby i really can't remember because Chloe definitely isn't pregnant and I kind of want like them to have an accidental baby before they get too old. Um, so I definitely want to make that happen. I feel like maybe before the next part I will play a little bit off screen. I do want the next part to be Paxton and Marisol's wedding because I feel like those two definitely deserve to get married and then I'm going to age up their toddlers as well. Although I do want to wait for toddler stuff because I want to explore toddler stuff in this let's play and also obviously my parenthood let's play um when toddler stuff comes out on the 24th i will be exploring that so don't you guys worry there will be like a um create a sim overlook i don't know whether i'm getting early access to it or anything like that yet i haven't been in contact with ea if i do then it'll be up a couple of days earlier as usual if i don't then it will be up on thursday and i'll have a look at the create a sim items like i usually do in one video and then the gameplay objects and build mode objects and all of that stuff in another video so there will definitely be toddler stuff overviews first looks all of that good stuff but i am pre-warning you guys there's gonna be a lot of me squealing a lot of me saying omg that is so cute and that is adorable cute adorable and squealing are the top three things that you guys are gonna hear out of me why does this chick look like hazel does she not? Is Hazel still here? Oh my god, you are going for it, Kalani. Holy hell. Yeah, Hazel is still here, but that girl over here on this billboard... Oh, it's changed. Never mind then. Oh, I forgot how many, like, handsome men were in this Let's Play because I uh, obviously added a lot of them in. We also still need to become friends with you, Taylor. I do really want to become friends with you. We need to see you out and about more, okay, dude? And then we'll come be friends with you. Because I feel like Kai and Taylor would get on really well. Um, so hopefully we will introduce ourselves to him. Um, oh, you're becoming really uncomfortable. And you're super smelly. You even got the green smog around you, Kai. <laughs> that's like Kai's living space. That's that's his thing now. That's his, uh, his biggest characteristic is that 90% of the time... Kai smells like dog poop. <laughs> Bless him, he's such a little hippie. Uh, what do we get? We got another leaf frog. I think we already have a leaf frog. Why do you have so much spoiled food in your inventory? That is disgusting, mister. No wonder you're smelling all grotty. Don't you pull that face at me. <laughs> you're walking around with so much spoiled food. Oh, there we go. He's grungy. So we're going to take him downstairs to definitely take a shower um so let's go sing in the shower he apparently wants to throw a party so we i mean do i want to throw a party tonight i feel like him and nathan aren't on very good terms at the minute i mean i wish we could kind of like 
extra sharpie through his name right now. <laughs> Imagine whenever we fell out with Nathan, Kai would just like grab a black sharpie and be like, nope, you're getting crossed out until we're friends again. Um, but yeah, the boys are kind of avoiding each other at the moment. We had that little tiff where it looked like Nathan and Madison were kind of getting a little bit close in the alleyway near our... Uh, I love how these doors have freaking see-through things. So everyone can see your naked sim. Look, I mean, I'm sure people wouldn't mind checking out Kai's little tush, but <laughs> it's a bit weird that it's just glass. Uh, but yeah, we had that bit of a, uh, bit of a, what's, what's the word? Bit of a dispute between Madison and Nathan and Kai. Kai kind of suspected that something was going on. We didn't see anything happening, but they were acting a little bit shady down a little alleyway next to our home. So, I don't know, Nathan. Kind of like stub it, uh, stabbing your brother in the back. Not a good look on you, my friend. I don't know what we're going to do with Nathan today. Um, Maybe we'll take Chloe out and catch up with Chloe or... I don't really know. Maybe we'll actually go out with Emery just to like um, a nice kind of outdoory date or something like that. I feel like that could be quite cute. Uh, but I think I'm going to send Kai home and then we will travel with Mr. Nathan. Um, they're going to have a little bit of an argument. There's going to be a little bit of a tiff as we go home. Um, but then Nathan's just going to be like, oh, I can't be dealing with this. I'm sorry, Nina. We again did not hang out whatsoever. If Madison is still in our apartment when we get back home, then that's shady. I feel like Nathan's definitely, I don't know what it is with Nathan at the minute. I feel like he's a little bit jealous of Kai, you know. Nathan um, has a full-time job. He's the one who cleans the apartment. I feel like there's just quite a lot of tension that kind of is proper unresolved like for example Kai keeps paying the rent to get on Madison's good side but he's using all of Nathan's money in the process of doing so so I feel like there's definitely a little bit of a of a void between them at the moment and I ain't talking about void critters so I'm not talking about those cheeky little things so we are gonna argue about his career because obviously he is unemployed um so we're gonna be like dude you need to stop being a slacker and you need to get your mon own money and stop leeching off me look stop taking your money out of my pot <laughs> i just want to go on holiday no you don't even have a job how can you go on holiday <laughs> that's literally what's happening right now fine i'll get my own pot nathan i don't need your pot stop yelling at me for god's sakes <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the dialogue that is happening between the boys right now. All right, boys, let's let's cool it. Nathan, you're gonna go take a quick shower, okay? You're gonna go take a brisk shower. Calm yourself down. Take a cold shower. Get all your frustration out. Let go of the heebie-jeebies, and we're gonna head out. Um, I think with Emery, I kind of really like Emery at the minute. I'm kind of feeling her and I feel like Nathan's feeling her as well. Um, not in that way, don't worry. <laughs> um, and I kind of want to become friend better friends with Samara as well. I feel like Kai is going to do some like, he's going to invite Samara over for some cooking maybe. Um, at some point, try and impress her a little bit, you know, an attractive young woman living next door to us in our apartment. So nothing can go wrong in Kai's eyes. <laughs> so I definitely feel like he's going to have a bit of a bit of a dinner date with her at a later date. That's definitely something I have planned for him in the future. Um, but Nathan, yeah, I feel like we should go on a one on one date with Emery. I kind of like her at the minute. So where's our relationships? Um, Yuki, not you. I forgot that we used to have a romantic relationship with, uh, Yuki. Can we not ask her out on a date yet? Um, do, 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 do. Can we not seriously ask her out on a date? Ask on date. Let's see if we can ask uh, her this way. No. <laughs> Think you might be the only person. No, we can't invite Emery out on a date. That's nice. Okay, right, let's do it. I feel like it is going to be an outdoorsy day. Um, I'm, I'm feeling quite outdoorsy at the minute, you know. I've spent all day, like, in the Trafford Centre, uh, which is a big shopping mall, for those of you who don't know. Um, and, like, I've been getting out and about, so I'm feeling an out and about day in The Sims as well. We're not going to go to the same park, 
Um, maybe we'll take her to like a park we used to go to as a kid. Because obviously we used to go to the parks in Newcrest quite a lot. I don't know if I even have any parks still in here at the moment. We have this one, which is Optimist's Outlook. I think that's just the name of it. Or we have this one, which is Fern Park, which I feel like we went to a lot um, of the time. Has Stingy moved in with... Has Have the grandparents moved in together? I don't know. It's a weird situation. It's a weird and wacky situation in this... Uh, family for sure but I think we're gonna head on over to Fern Park kind of a throwback to season one of the Younguns with the girls and when like Chloe used to bring Nathan out here and he would play while she would like sit and contemplate her books and things like that so that's where we're gonna go we're gonna throw it back old school I do need to definitely revamp this town I just have not had chance I've actually not uploaded Younguns in about a week now unfortunately so I'm Missed my boys I wanted to get back to them also I'm constantly scared that young guns is gonna freeze on me although one of you guys in the last part you commented saying you should use save as instead of just save all the time so I've actually like restarted the save in a way by using the save as button um so hopefully it's kind of minimized the file size a bit so Jungans runs smoother uh, but thank you for that quick tip I totally forgot that that was a thing that we could do um, so our main thing is to like sit and talk with her and like socialize so let's go sit together um, and try and just like yeah chat a little bit we got a hot tub over here you know this lady currently looks like she is skinny dipping oh no don't worry uh, she definitely is dressed, which is quite nice. Oh, look who's here. Little shit minx. Don't look at me. Look, he's checking Nathan out. Don't eye me up, mate. I am not next on your hit list. No chance. I actually do want to go back and explore that storyline a little bit because... I kind of ended Jungen season one without much explanation to that. So I definitely want to go back to that. Um, but... That's once the boys have like definitely set up their own lives. So what we're gonna do is we need to flirt with her a bit, but we're gonna try and make her laugh a couple of times. You know, Jason. Jason, Nathan has always been a little bit of a joker, so we are gonna try and um, get her up that way. Uh, I actually was gonna have him become like a joke star before I had him become a detective, which is weird. It's definitely a different choice of uh, of career but I just felt like I don't know I feel like he fitted the detective career quite a lot um but yeah he was my plan for Nathan all along was for him to become like a comedian but I never really went went down that route with him right we need to flirt with her a little bit so let's compliment her appearance you know she is a good looking girl um we're gonna flirt with her and what else can we do? Um, let's flatter her. We need to have some deep conversations. So where is it? Do, 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 do. Deep conversation. And we'll go for a second deep conversation as well. Because what's better than one deep conversation? It's two deep conversations. If The Sims 4 hasn't taught you that by now, I mean, this is where I get all my dating tips from. How did you think I got Danielle? <laughs> nah, I mean, if dates were as easy as they are in The Sims, then... You know, none of us would have an issue with getting into a relationship. However, they are not. Right, we need to flirt with her once more. So let's flirt again. Oh, nope, she's leaving. She's out of here. Oh, she needs the toilet. That's fine. We'll let her pee in peace. So we won't follow her into the bathroom. Oh, no. Not peeing. Just getting a glass of water. Can we sit back together? Oh, you're walking through the floor. Okay. Yes. Solid. Um, right. Back to romance. Let's... No, don't ask a risque question. Nathan, no. I thought it was going to get awkward, but she kind of liked it. Okay. I can deal with that. Why did that not count as a flirt with her? Uh, exchange numbers. Maybe it's because I cancelled it out, so it didn't actually have an effect. Let's try and flirt with her a little bit. It's still going a little bit wobbly. I think it's when we are on big lots. Um, it doesn't lag, but there's kind of like a slight stutter to the game. 
like more than I'm used to. I don't really know why. Maybe it's because I'm just so zoomed in on The Sims that like I don't really ever look at them in this much detail. Oh, hello, lady. Hello, lady who I thought was naked. There we go. We got a gold. <gasps> it's now telling us to kiss her. We have to, we have to abide by the rules. What, sh is she gonna make something? No, she's just getting another glass of water. Girl, you are thirsty for Nathan. And Nathan's now being thirsty. Let's go get in the, get in the hot tub together. Let's do it. No one can stop us. Aw, there's so many kids out here playing. That's so cute. <gasps> I'm so excited for toddler stuff to be released when like toddlers can start going to parks. I'm gonna revamp like every park. I cannot wait. But yeah, here we go. Let's uh, chill out in the hot tub together. First date and all. May as well whip out a hot tub. If it's there for us, I'm gonna go ahead with it. Um, Let's try and give her a pickup line. Our romance is actually quite high with her already. Like, I am impressed with Nathan. I mean, I don't know how impressed she'll be with our Kai tattoo. <laughs> I just feel so awkward. Like, imagine going on a date with a Kai and, like, he asks you to get in the hot tub with him and you're like, oh my god, yes. Like, wow, I've never been in a hot tub with a Kai on a first date before. Like, dead impressed. Oh, now you need to pee. That's because you drank too much water, lady. We're going to try and whisper sweet nothings to her. But yeah, and then he takes off his shirt and he's just got, like, a tattoo of his roommate's name. I don't know how I feel about that personally. I think I'd be a little bit like, oh, uh, like, that's sweet and all that you guys have, like, that bromance. But also, like, is he any threat to me? Because I will take him down. Oh, no, I was going to kiss her. But now this lady's got back in and I feel like we probably shouldn't. Nathan's feeling very flirty, though. My goodness, Nathan. He is definitely feeling Emery right now. Can we kiss her? Uh... No, we can't kiss her just yet. We can blow her a kiss. Oh, there we go, first kiss. We got the option. Let's do it. First kiss in a hot tub with random lady who's asleep. <laughs> what more can you want from a first date, really? I think they're about to have their first kiss. Okay, it's not in the hot tub with a sleeping lady, which is quite nice. Oh, there we go. I mean, you completely missed her lips, but that's beside the point. You like ate her face. Oh, Minx is not happy about that. He's like, no, this is not happening. Why is everyone, like, being so insulted that I just kissed Emery? Like, what is your problem? You guys don't even know us. We're also going to offer her a rose. We're not going to ask her to be our girlfriend just yet because that is a little bit weird. Not going to lie. Um, we're feeling super hungry, so I think we might go home. I feel like we're... Well, I mean, we could grab a serving, but I kind of want to go home. Uh, she needs a wheat anyway, so let's end the date. Yes. Um, but there we go. We got a legendary date. There is something special in your Sims household inventory. blah de blah de blah And we're going to go home and celebrate our great first date with Mrs. Emery. At least we know Nathan's not, like, fully convinced on Madison. I mean, I at least don't want him to be. <laughs> Uh, they aren't very good friends either. I feel like it was just like a, I don't know, it was just kind of a one-off that they were in the same alley together. I mean, I feel like Kai kind of took it to heart when he didn't need to. Um, I feel like because they were on bad terms already, he kind of just saw it and then just saw red and was like, Nathan, I hate you. Um, but I don't feel like there's anything too bad there. A fingers crossed anyway. I will be really disappointed if Nathan just randomly decides to flirt with her one day. Um, but let's change our outfit. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where is outfits? Outfits. Change outfit into whatever. Just something that isn't that. And then let's... We can make flirty heart cookies. Um, do we have anything to eat, to be honest? Um, sure, grab a serving of garden salad. Who's come round? Oh, Chloe, it's games night. I love how our mom just invites herself round. It's like the sweetest thing. She's like, hey, son, uh, we're going to play some games tonight. <laughs> she is a cool mom indeed. I do really, really like Chloe. Um, and Kai is still here drinking his drink, you know, as he does. He's not actually even chatting with Nathan. He's 
he's gonna go chat with Samira about herbalism, which one of you guys actually suggested that Kai got into. So I might actually do that. I might have him get into herbalism. Um, but let's enthuse about guitar solos. Nathan looks like he wants to talk. However, Kai is just totally ignoring him. Kai, I feel like you're being a little bit dramatic. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Nathan really didn't do that much to you. Like, you are definitely taking your frustrations out on the wrong person here because I feel like he's not done anything and poor little Nathan is just like I just want my buddy back <laughs> I just want Kai to be my friend again right considering it's games night I guess we should uh why can't we play multiplayer games why why can our mum not play with us um actions add to group can we play games now no go here together Come on, I want to play a game. Look, even Chloe's like, see Nathan, all you have to do is go up and talk to him and he'll start talking back. No, he won't, mom, he hates us. He hates my guts right now. Right, let's play a multiplayer game. We're gonna go for my Sims racing with Chloe. Considering she said it was games night, I feel it's only right to give our mom a game. Um, how are you two? You two are getting along pretty well. I like this. Neighbors getting along well. And then there's Raj, who we actually aren't that bad of friends with. I feel like I kind of make small talk because he's our neighbor. I think that's a like, oh, we can't. He ignored us. But I think that's a city living interaction with like neighbors, just like making small talk with them. Um, oh, we really need to pee. Okay. Kai, go use the bathroom. Go, go, go. Go, 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 use the bathroom. And I think I'm gonna end this part here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching this part of Youngins. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope the rift between these two doesn't last forever. But I kind of like how the game is going along with it right now. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like throwing in all these situations and uh, it's it definitely seems to be lining up with what's going on in the boy's life right now. But I feel like the next part is gonna be um Paxton and Marisol's wedding which I'm very excited for we'll have everybody together um but thank you all for watching this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up leave your comments and suggestions down below I'd love to hear what you guys want to see out of the youngins definitely let me know about Kai's career and I will speak to you all in the next part bye guys